Hi everybody, welcome back. Come with me as I get Botox for the first time in a year and a half. We zap some redness and brown spots with the XLV laser and I get some sebaceous hyperplasia electrocauterized. So I thought it would be really informative if I just propped up the camera and kind of showed you what an appointment looks like. Like I said, I haven't had Botox in a year and a half. My dermatologist is gonna talk a little bit about that. First off, she always takes some pictures and videos of my face so that we can kind of like see my progress. I have been with her for seven years, so I really let her guide me on what she thinks would be best. It's been a year and a half. I think Jillian probably could have used Botox sooner, but she was liking the way that her face was moving. And up until now, I haven't seen lines at rest. So now I'm agreeing to it because if you look up close, she's really starting to develop these lines. And if we wait any longer, we might not be able to get rid of them and that is something she doesn't want. Right. So it's been a year and a half, but Claire said she would tell me when it was time. And we're doing a baby amount. She takes really well to it. And something that you can figure out with your injector is, are you someone that needs it every three months on the dot? Can you go longer? But really the purpose of the Botox is to prevent these lines from being there etched in. And so you want to make sure to get it before that happens. Here we go. Just turn it back. Raise up your eyebrows. Good, relax. So as Dr. Claire said, what I get is called baby Botox, which just means I'm getting less Botox than the standard amount. I'm an actress and I really like being able to move my face and see some wrinkles. I just want the wrinkles softened. So I only get 12 units in my forehead and eight units in the glabella, which is right in between those eyebrows, that angry face. And for me, that's what I like. At 37, that's, that's how I like to look. I like to still see some wrinkles, but um, I just want them softened. So I do this little baby Botox amount. Um, I did about the equivalent of eight Botox units in the glabella and about 12 in the floor. I'm very light. I would normally do a lot more, but I know for Jillian, she's a light touch kind of gal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay. Do I need anywhere else? Oh my God. No pros? So after Botox, it's time to electrocauterize some sebaceous hyperplasia, but first Dr. Claire's cord got completely tangled. So after about 10 minutes of untangling, we moved on. So um, Jillian has a bunch of sebaceous hyperplasia, which are benign growths. Let's come close. The little dots, these are from Botox, but you can see these little guys up close. I'm gonna zap them very gently, very demure. Very mindful. Very mindful, Zach. I have done this many times. I am just prone to sebaceous hyperplasia. It does not hurt at all. It flattens them. It doesn't get totally rid of them, but um, then I can kind of keep them away better with retinoid. These are not to be confused with milia. Milia can be extracted, but sebaceous hyperplasia, they kind of look like little donuts with a depression in the middle. They need to be electrocauterized. <laughs> Okay, that's done. And now it is XLV laser time, which I have recorded many patients uh, getting this done from Dr. Claire, but I have never had it done myself. We're going to attempt to target some brown spots before we do a mini fraxel this year because I'm not sure she needs it. I'm more interested and in, I have not seen such little brown spots before on you. I've seen more just pigment and plasma, but this year I see brown, brown spots. spots. So I'm just heating up my laser and so to clarify what Dr. Claire just said, she said that usually we do a laser treatment every fall. I do something that we call a mini fraxel, which is just half of a fraxel dual. I don't have time for that downtime right now. So instead she decided just to target some of my redness and brown spots with a targeted laser, which is the XLV. That's what she has in her office. Little laser right here. This mm -hmm. is the ugly brown spot in question. See it? Thank you. 
Okay, so zapping of the brown spots is done. Now moving on to the zapping of the red spots with the same laser, the XLV on the Cool View handpiece, just a different setting for red spots than it would be for brown spots. <laughs> Now Dr. Claire is applying some jelly on my cheeks where she is going to zap the redness and broken capillaries away. Again, I've never had this, so I was like, why are we putting jelly on my cheeks? And she was like, that's just what we do. All right, what are we doing? Actually, is this red? On. Red stuff? This is red stuff. Yeah, this is red stuff. We've never, have we done, what is it, beeping? No, I've done this done exactly. the this is an exciting diffuse redness setting. Okay, so tell everyone. This tell is called them. Cool View by XLV, which is by Kutera, which is the same one I used for her brown spots. But when you're doing red stuff, you put cooling gel on the face to protect the epidermis because we're not going for pigment, we're going for blood vessels. The pigment is in the epidermis from the top, top layers of skin. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, didn't sing my song. Bad. Can be swollen from this sometimes, nothing, but I'm watching the blood vessels kind of go away. That's my rosacea cheek. Yeah. I get pustules on this cheek. Oh, well, let's see if this helps. This is, what I'm doing is for rosacea. You'll do the whole this cheek. This is then. the redness for rosacea. I can get very swollen. Actually, what I want to do after this is a quick. You've had Genesis with me, remember? No. No. Now this really didn't hurt at all on my cheeks, but when she went around my nose, oh boy, I jumped like crazy. Tears immediately sprang to my eyes. It was like being zapped with a rubber band um, under your nose, but other than the nose, it didn't hurt, but I immediately felt my cheeks start to get swollen, which was really interesting. Yes. Yes. So I don't know if you just heard, but I said, what was that? And there are these huge raised dots on the left side of my face, which you'll see in my day-by-day -day update video that those babies got so bruised. And that was it. The whole thing took about 10 minutes. My left cheek was very sore and red for a few hours, then totally calmed down. And you will see the next video that I'm doing is my day-by-day -day update. So you can see how I'm healing and follow along with my progress. And I hope that you found this informative, seeing this full appointment visit. And I will see you next time for my day-by-day -day healing videos. Yay!